Hey Vault Dwellers, JV here. Today I'm sharing my ultimate junk guide for Fallout 76. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more Fallout 76 videos just like this. I don't have to tell you, this game is full of junk. It stretches as far as the eye can see and it respawns frequently enough that you can return to locations you've already been to collect more. With the current stash limit at 400 as I'm recording this video on November 20th, it's more important than ever to be selective with what you're picking up. In this video, I will share some tips for weight reduction and how to find the junk you're looking for, then go through each category of junk by component and tell you what to pick up and what to leave. So sit back, grab some sugar bombs, and prepare yourself. Let's start with weight reduction. The primary way to manage weight is via the special and perk systems in the game. Each point in strength increases your carry weight by five, but there are better options for weight reduction. If you're looking to reduce your weight so you can pick up more junk or just items in general, I'd recommend Traveling Pharmacy, Pack Rat, Through Hiker, Sturdy Frame, and Strong Back. Any combination of these will let you carry a considerable amount more weight. There are other options like grilled radstag or chems and alcohol that boost your strength, but these are only temporary bonuses and are more difficult to manage. I'd recommend completing the Minor Miracles side quest at the Garahan Mining Headquarters in the Ash Heap to get your own set of excavator power armor. Wearing the full set gives you plus 100 carry weight, which is vital for making junk runs. Briefly, I wanted to touch on tagging items for search because this is never explained. And if you're new to Fallout with 76, then you probably have no clue you could do this. In your Pip-Boy, under the Junk tab, you can turn on Component View to break down each junk item into its base components. The button to do this is at the bottom of your screen. Once you're in Component View, you can tag components for search. This puts a little magnifying glass icon on objects in the world when you scroll over them, letting you know that they have that particular component that you tagged. This is extremely useful, and above anything else I share in this video, I'd make sure that you're doing this. No matter what, I always have adhesive, aluminum, antiseptic, ballistic fiber, lead, springs, and screws tagged. Those are the main things that I'm needing, and I never want to pass them up. All right, with that stuff out of the way, let's dive in. We're going to go through each component one by one, identify which junk items give those components, and whether you should pick them up based on how many components they yield. In general, we're looking for what I call high value junk. These are the items you never want to pass up and probably want to dump other items from your inventory in order to grab. If an item yields valuable components for very little weight, you want to grab it no matter what. Keep in mind, I'm not going to mention anything like aluminum ore, excessive adhesive, loose screws, lead scrap, or waste acid. You should always take junk with those prefixes because they weigh almost nothing. And for your convenience, if you'd like to skip to a specific component, that's why you clicked on this video, check the description. I've left timestamps to each individual one. Starting with acid, this is used for crafting chems and explosives. Your high value junk items are a Braxo cleaner, antifreeze, coolant, and hallucinogen gas canisters. These give a solid amount of components for how much they weigh. Avoid taking makeshift batteries and industrial cleaners, they're just way too heavy. Adhesive is used in most mods and is needed to repair gear, so you'll need plenty of it. Take everything on this list. Duct tape, economy wonder glue, handmade glue, military grade duct tape, packs of duct tape, sealed wonder glue, vegetable starch, and wonder glue. There isn't a single adhesive item in the game that weighs more than 0.75, so I'd never pass up on glue or tape take it all. Next is aluminum, which you'll need for a ton of crafting. High value items are alarm clocks of any kind, cake pans, any robot models like the iBot or Mr. Handy model, ski poles, small glass jar lids, rings and tops, surgical trays, and TV dinner trays. Pick these up no matter what. For some reason, only Todd knows aluminum trays give you two steel and zero aluminum, so don't be fooled by those. Avoid aluminum canisters, ring stands, and the steel guitar. They weigh way too much and give you too little. Antiseptic is used for crafting chems. Just like adhesive, everything is super light, so pick up everything. Abraxo cleaners, autopsy board game, industrial solvent, royal jelly, tick blood sacs, toothpaste, and turpentine. Asbestos is needed for energy resistance mods and a few chems. It's a little tricky because most of these items are heavy. I'd only consider chalk and packs of cigarettes to be high value, but you'll get decent value from cigarette cartons, coffee pots, and rat poison. There are two items to avoid, extinguishers and biometric scanners. They are way too heavy, just don't pick them up. 
Ballistic fiber is the absolute most rare material in this game. You'll only find it in two pieces of junk, military ammo bags and military grade duct tape. Pick these up no matter what. Drop your weapons, drop your armor, whatever it takes. You'll also find ballistic fiber when you scrap power armor chassis. I've got two sets of power armor right now, and I've been scrapping any extras that I come across, and I'd recommend that you do the same just for the ballistic fiber. Black titanium is listed as a component, but it's not found in any junk, and it's required for crafting power armor pieces and mods. You'll grab this from resource extractors, veins, or if you're lucky, find it in ingot form. Next is bone, which you'll need for cutting fluid, raider armor mods, and some cosmetic camp decoration. Bones are just really heavy across the board, and I generally avoid picking them up unless you're crafting for a specific item. High value bone items are any human skull parts, mega sloth claws, mole rat teeth, jaws, rib cages, and spines. Avoid picking up Brahmin bones and whole human skulls, they're pretty heavy. Ceramic is used for some mods, but mostly camp necessities like generators, turrets, lights, and water. There are so many items that provide this component, but they're generally too heavy. Only pick this up as needed. High value items are clean bowls, coffee cups, saucers, and teacups. Avoid grabbing garden gnomes, high powered magnets, and vases of any kind. Circuits are needed for higher level mods, some chems and explosives, and various items for your camp. Very few items give this component, so it's a little tricky. Your highest value items are assaultron circuit boards, and individual circuits, enhanced targeting cards, military grade circuit boards, and sensor modules. If you're specifically searching for these, go ahead and grab radio jammers and telephones too, but avoid taking flight data recorders and hot plates, they're just really heavy. Cloth is used for armor mods and camp objects, it's one of the most abundant components, so it's important to be selective or you'll have way too much way too fast. High value cloth items are napkins of any kind, any cigar boxes, newspapers, cigars, cigarettes, dish rags, and folders. Do not pick up bags of chlorine, baseball, bases, or American flags. Sorry, America. Concrete is used in camp foundations and water pumps. Simply put, it's just too heavy. The only junk item that gives it is bags of cement, which have a base weight of eight for only five concrete. So don't pick these up unless you're looking for it. Copper is used in a ton of camp items like generators and turrets, but you'll also need it for high level mods. There's some great value copper junk, but a ton of super items as well, so be careful. High value items are beaker stands, fuses, lighthouse souvenirs, power relay coils, and vacuum tubes. Avoid picking up lamps of any kind, bone cutters, flight data recorder, high-powered magnets, hot plates, radio jammer, stew pots, telephones, and trumpets. Cork is used mainly in armor weight reduction mods. High-value items are baseballs and golf balls, but don't take any globes or crystal liquid decanters. You'll need crystal for anything laser-related, but also just for scopes on your weapons. Crystal is fairly rare and for some reason pretty heavy. Crystal liquid decanter, magnifying glass, and pro snap cameras are the only high value items for me. Avoid grabbing just regular cameras, microscopes, and undamaged cameras. Fertilizer is needed for chems and explosives. It's another one of those super specific components that is just too heavy if you're looking for junk. Just like concrete, the primary source is bags of fertilizer. You'll also find a ton of it in radioactive pumpkin seeds, but those are really rare. Only pick up bags if you need them. Otherwise, just let your food spoil and convert it to raw fertilizer at your chemistry workbench or just create it at your camp. Fiber optics are needed to craft high-level mods and most things that are laser-related. They're super rare and super heavy. You'll only find fiber optics in biometric scanners, flight data recorders, and microscopes. For most other components, I've said to avoid taking these items, but you kind of have to suck it up and grab these if you need fiber optics. So flight data recorders give you the most bang for your buck, while microscopes give you the least. Fiberglass is needed to craft a decent amount of weapons, armor, and power armor. You'll also need it for energy weapon mods, and it's fairly uncommon. High value items are Abraxo cleaners, cigar boxes, fiberglass spools, and rat poison. Don't pick up aluminum canisters, industrial cleaner, Jangles the Moon Monkey, or telephones. Sorry, Jangles. Flux is listed as a component, but you'll only find it in nuclear blast zones. It's a super rare, super valuable material, and there are no junk items that I know of that contain flux. Next is gears, which you'll need for camp generators and other camp items. These are generally pretty heavy. 
Your highest value gear items are pocket watches, but I'd also grab adjustable wrenches, desk and office fans, giddy up buttercup legs, and pro snap cameras. If you can, avoid bone cutters, regular cameras, whole giddy up buttercups, microscopes, and typewriters. You'll need glass for lights, weapon scopes, syringes, and laser weapon mods. The high value items are alarm clocks and drinking glasses of any kind, magnifying glasses, and royal jelly. Do not pick up food dehydrators or microscopes. Those are really heavy. Gold is used in high-level mods and laser weapons. It's really light, and I'd recommend picking up every single item on this list. Gold forks, lighters, pocket watches, table knives, gold-plated glass, and the Unstoppables board game. Lead is super valuable across the board because of our ability to craft ammo, and you should always make room for high-value lead items. High-value options include any ammo casings, aluminum cans, baby rattles, regular cans, energy cells, ignition core, paint cans of any kind, pencils, rat poison, tin cans, toy aliens, toy rocket ships, and wooden blocks of any kind. Side note, I did mention paint cans, but they are pretty heavy at three each, but they give you seven lead. That's kind of hard to pass up for me. However, avoid grabbing weights, barbells, and dumbbells of any kind, and also makeshift batteries. They're all just way too heavy. Leather is used at the armor workbench. It's super abundant and generally pretty light. High value items are all baseballs, all animal hides, Mr. Fuzzies, doll heads, hide bundles, and souvenir teddy bears. The only item I wouldn't pick up for leather is the Mega Sloth Pelt, which nets five leather for five weight. That's just not enough for me. Nuclear material is needed for glow sites, explosives, workshop items, and other mods. It's pretty rare and heavy. The highest value items are Blast Radius Board Game, Ignition Core, Rad Poker Board Game, and vault Tech or Wake Master alarm clocks. If you really need it, I would pick up any item that has it, honestly. Biometric scanners, high-powered magnets, and mini-nuke parts all have it. Oil is used in armor and weapon mods, explosives, turrets, and water purifiers. It's fairly abundant, but there are some super heavy items to avoid. Starting with high value, take aluminum oil cans, cooking oil, cutting fluid, any flip lighter, oil can, soap, and sticky tar. Watch out for aluminum canisters, most kinds of paint, any kind of fuel or fuel tanks, and any blowtorch. Plastic is needed for all crafting, and if you're a shotgun build, you'll need it for that ammo. Luckily, it's everywhere and hard to avoid. The following are all high value to me. Accordions, baby rattle, bread box, cafeteria tray, any animal bowls, cigarette carton, all salt and pepper mills or shakers, coffee pots, all pool balls, cooking oil, empty blood packs and coolant, energy cells, enhanced target cards, any hairbrush, feather dusters, golf balls, harmonicas, IV bags, mouth harps, packs of cigarettes, pens, all plastic eating objects like bowls, forks, etc., plastic pumpkins, scissors, shotgun shell casings, toothbrush and toothpaste, and toy aliens and rocket ships. Do not grab bowling balls, globes of any kind, clothing iron, food dehydrator, industrial cleaner, or plastic gas canister. Rubber is used for generators, weapons, and armor. High value options are any basketball or kickball, plungers, spatulas, and toy aliens. Avoid picking up extinguishers and saws. I don't have to tell you how much you need screws because you should already know. That means my high value items are generally a bit heavier because you really do need them. Here they are. Pepper mills, desk fans, any giddy up buttercup, handcuffs, hubcaps, mini nuke stabilizer fins, and any toy car or truck. Honestly, with how much these are needed, there's nothing that's too heavy for me, but be aware that the following weighs a lot. Globes weigh a lot, hot plates, tongs, and typewriters, they're really heavy. Silver is needed for lots of weapon mods. High value options are enhanced targeting cards, fancy hairbrushes, silver pocket watch, and every silver eating item except for plates. The only item with silver that I would avoid is the metal beer stein. Springs are just as important to me as screws and just as heavy. High value items are any clipboards, any lighters, any pocket watches, and handcuffs. These are on the heavier side, but I'd also grab alarm clocks, umbrellas, giddy up buttercup individual parts, kitchen scales, pro snap camera, and toasters. Finally, if you absolutely need to take them, and most of the time you probably will, grab cameras, fishing rods, whole giddy up buttercups, and typewriters, even though they're super heavy. Steel is used in almost everything. It's everywhere in a variety of weights, and there's a ton of objects that are just way too heavy, so you need to know what's worth picking up. 
High value items are any ammo casing, accordions, aluminum trays, antique table knives, bandage scissors, regular pans, cooking pans, all silverware, dog tags, empty cans and paint cans, harmonicas, mouth harps, power relay coil, scalpel, scissors, screwdriver, small saucepan lid, tin cans, and triangle. Do not take any hammer, any blowtorch, any paint, clothing iron, combination wrench, enamel bucket, food dehydrator, any fuel or fuel tank, hallucinogen gas canister, any tongs, any lantern, any saw, medical liquid nitrogen dispenser, metal tub, miner's lamp, radio jammer, steel guitar, stew pot, toasters, torque rod end, tube flange, or metal buckets. Ultracite is needed to craft endgame weapons, mods, and armor. It's listed as a component, but the only junk item that yields it outside of ore and scraps is hardened mass. Always grab these from enemies in nuke blast zones. I think that's the only place you can get them. The last component is wood, which is used in most camp construction. My best advice is if you ever need it, just run into the woods and grab some. Go to the forest. You'll get it from other junk items as well that have components that you actually need. However, this is a junk guide and there is some high value wood junk if you need it. Accordions, any clipboard, all cigar boxes, golf tees, harmonica, mouth harp, pencils, pool racks, violin bows, wooden blocks, and any wooden spoons. Do not pick up acoustic guitars, any hammers, bowling pins, fishing rods, any saw, makeshift battery, American flags, or wooden buckets. That was it for this junk guide. It took a lot of digging through resources, especially the Fallout 76 guide. So I hope this was able to help you guys determine what you should be picking up and what you should avoid because there's so much hoarding that's involved with playing a Fallout game and especially in 76, which is the first Fallout, at least the first Bethesda Fallout, that we don't have unlimited space. You have to be careful with what you're placing in your stash and what you're picking up. In the comment section, tell me which piece of junk is the most valuable to you. Which one are you super excited when you see? Share your thoughts below. If you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe and hit the bell for more Fallout 76 content like my last video, where we discuss the update 1.0.1 patch. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.